Hi, this video is brought to you by Tech Direct Archive. In this video, I'll be showing you how to diagnose a Windows hardware issues. Um, suppose you are having uh, an issue with your computer or, so, or server not working properly. We have uh, several diagnostic tools online that uh, you can make use of to check what exactly is the issue to identify any potential hardware problem whether your system is uh, dell hp lenovo there are diagnostic tools that can help you fix any of these hardware issues some of these hardware issues can be corrected uh, surprisingly by just restarting your system while for others you have to still dig very deep to correct the hardware issues um, the first one on the list, the first step that I'm going to show you right now, where I'm going to show you like uh, three steps, uh, three different ways, I mean, that uh, you can diagnose your uh, system, your hardware. The first one is uh, using um, the hardware and device troubleshooter. So how do we get to this... Uh, hardware and device troubleshoot i'm going to show you now so what does this um, hardware and device troubleshoot what does it do or how does it help you to uh, detect the issue that is wrong with your system um, what it does is uh, it helps to check and detect um, any common issues uh, that is on your system. It confirms that um, any new device or hardware that is attached or installed on your computer is properly installed. So, how do we get this uh, troubleshooter? Um, let's go to Control Panel, and from there we can link up to troubleshooting the troubleshooter itself. So, control panel. So, from control panel, let me just search for trouble. Should this is it here? So, I'm going to click on it. So, on this troubleshooting now, by the left, you get to see view all. So I'm going to click this view all. So you can see different computer problems that this trouble shooter can help us with. So in case um, you're having a Bluetooth uh, issue, you can click it. In case you're having um, Internet Explorer performance, you can make use of it. Is it power? Is it printer? So many they are listed here. So let 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 us assume I'm having issue with my audio. I just click on this. Then it's going to show me this. Um, find and fix problems with playing sound. I just click next. Then it will try to detect any problems with my audio. Then from there, I can still can still dig deeper into um, the problem. So this is uh, a very good way to um, try and uh, check what exactly is wrong with our hardware system. So this is uh, this troubleshooter can help you diagnose what the issue really is. So. Um, sometimes it may take uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, time to detect all these problems. Sometimes it can be faster. So it depends. So if it is a Windows update, different things is here. So um, aside from this, you can, uh, we also have uh, Windows tools. Windows tools. 
And now what do we use these Windows two Windows tools to do? Sometimes you start noticing that your computer is freezing, is slow, is hanging, is freezing. Uh, sometimes it uh, it can show blue screen, and uh, is is all this is related to um, memory issue. So how can we diagnose this memory issue? How can we check what exactly the problem is? Um, this Windows tools is a Windows memory diagnostic tool that can help you to troubleshoot uh, any memory related uh, problem. So um, let me go to where you can find this Windows tools. Um, it's still this from the same control panel. So on this control panel, then let us search for Windows tools. It's already here anyway. So this is it here. Windows tools. Just click on it. So we are now going to um, going to look for Windows memory diagnostic. Um, let me scroll up. Windows memory. Okay, this is it here. So I'm going to double click on it. So I'm going to get this. Um, this is saying check your computer for memory problems. Memory memory problems can cause your computers to lose information or stop working. There are two options. Um, I have um, restart now and check for problems, which is a recommended uh, advice. And uh, we also have um, check for problems the next time I start my computer. So it depends on what you want to achieve. You may want to check the problem right away, which is recommended. Then you may just decide, okay, if I'm starting my computer next time, then you can check the memory for any problem. So you can just pick any, any of these uh, options and um, the check will start immediately that's for the first option then the check will start later on while the uh, your system is putting up so this is another way to check for a memory related uh, problem on your system which uh, is also um, which can also be called an hardware issue on your system memory issue is also an hardware problem on your system so um Aside from this, we also have, um, let's say, for instance, now my laptop is a Dell computer. So Dell also have their own uh, diagnostic uh, uh, application that they make use of. And what is the name of this application? It is called uh, Support Assist. So I'm going to show you where the support assist is on my Dell system and what um, exactly what are some of the things that you can use the support assist to do so i'm going to show you now so um you can just if um, you already installed the support assist on your Dell system just search for it support assist if it's not um, installed on your system just uh, go online install it from the Dell platform you can get it on that platform and install it so i'm going to launch this support assist now so this support assist you can carry out uh, different tasks on it uh, different uh, diagnostic uh, tasks you can do a full system scan or base software scan, hardware, boost performance, optimize network, remove viruses, um, under the discover tab, you can do a Dell migrate, parts, batteries and upgrades, Dell pro support service, under support, you can uh, do a quick scan 
on your PC just click this uh, button start now and uh, to quickly scan your system though it's not a full scan just a quick one then if you under this uh, test my hardware if you click get started then under I want to troubleshoot my PC you will see I want to check a specific piece of hardware just expand this then you get to see the different devices on your system anyone that is having issue just click on it um, then um, you are good the system will check for the particular issue on it so um, that is one fantastic uh, uh, part that this support assist uh, support assist handle this Dell support assist so if um, it is not a specific piece of hardware that is having an issue you may just want to scan your entire PC um, this one is much more elaborate than um, the quick scan so you just click start and it will start um, uh, scanning your PC as a whole so um, this is pretty much a good uh, tool that you can easily use to check issues on your their system so you can check different issues I suspect that my PC has a viral and my connectivity issues my PC is running slower than it used to so these are issues that may come up on your Dell system and you can try and uh, use the support assist uh, tool to do that so in case you don't have it on your Dell just go to the Dell website download it install it on your uh, Dell computer but usually it comes with um, it comes with um, what's it called usually comes with uh, a Dell system if you just purchase a Dell system it usually come with it but in case you don't have it then it's very easy just go to the internet and get it downloaded and installed so it's a very good tool for those that are making use of uh, Dell uh, computer so in case you are using HP HP also have its own tool that you can make use of um, it's due to the fact that uh, my system is there that's why I'm sure so HP also have its own so you can just go online check uh, the diagnostic uh, tool that also exists on uh, HP system so these are some of the ways you can um, resolve issues on your hardware system so I hope you enjoyed this video